Alright, welcome back everyone to another TechZone video. Uh, I'm going to show you some tips to speed up your Windows 7 computer. And uh, if you want, you can check out the article version of this tutorial, which you can uh, preview probably offline anytime. And uh, a little bit more in-depth information. But if you are sticking to the video, okay. So uh, let's begin with the tutorial and the couple of steps you have to do. So um, let's begin. Step 1 is to uh, disable all visual effects in uh, Windows 7. So to do this, uh, open up the start menu, right click on uh, computer and click on properties. Then select on advanced system settings. And then go to the advanced tabs, uh, tab and under the performance box you're going to select on settings and then enable adjust for best performance which will disable all of the visual effects and uh, once you do that click OK uh, it's going to freeze the computer for a while and then it will disable the visual effects what it should do it should disable font smoothing uh, visual styles you can see right now it's finished and the uh, windows classic theme has been enabled uh, font smoothing has di been disabled, animations has, dis has been disabled, transparency, all those cool visual effects, they're disabled. Okay, so your computer should be fast from here on. Uh, if not, there are a couple of more steps you can do. Step two, what you can do is just right click on your desktop, go to personalize, and there are two things you can do from here. Change the desktop background to a solid color so that it has to. It really doesn't have to um, produce a lot of colors on your desktop and take up a little bit more memory. Select a solid color and click save changes. Step 3 is to disable your sounds. Under, under the personalization menu select sounds and the uh, sound properties box should load up. From here under the sound scheme select no sounds and click OK but I'm not going to because I like it when I have the sounds. Okay. Uh, step four is also an optional method. Step uh, four, what you can do now. Uh, this is the thing. If you have a laptop, uh, you can just uh, use this method by right-clicking on this battery icon right there. But if you have a PC, go to the control panel and select on power options. Now I have a netbook, so I'm just going to do it from here. So if you have a laptop then right click on the battery icon and select power options okay and then you're going to select on high performance if you're on the PC just select control panel uh, power options and then select the high performance power scheme it will, it will increase the performance but it will use more power which means there will be less battery or it will consume a bit more power but not need to worry about that for me just, it just takes away a few minutes Step 5, what you can do is delete temporary files. It's starting to get more advanced now. Uh, temporary files, now whenever you're installing a program, it leaves a couple of temporary files behind which are unnecessary. Uh, so to delete those, just type percent %tmp uh, percent. Click enter. It should load up this folder with a bunch of uh, temporary files. Now I deleted some recently. I just deleted all my temporary files yesterday and I do and it already produced a lot more but it's not really necessary to delete mine now but uh, when I checked mine last time all the files there were about 538 files I think and they all added up to about 2 GB so that was a lot okay step 6 uh, disable startup programs now these programs uh, some you may have some s programs that start up uh, after you log in which can be distracting and makes the login process slow so to do this type msconfig on the uh, run text box just wait a bit and it should load up the system con configuration uh, uh, settings so go to startup the startup tab and disable or uncheck the programs that you don't want it to uh, start when you log in 
this will speed up your login process and then you can start work a little bit more faster step 7 what you can do is use ready boost which is speeding up your computer using your USB flash now I already made a uh, video tutorial on it which you can check out right now or you can check out the article in the description for a tutorial uh, step 8 what you can do is uh, uninstall programs that you don't really need now I'm sure you know how to uninstall a program just go to start then you go to uh, control panel and then you scroll down to uh, programs and features and now it will load up a load of programs that is already installed in your computer all you need to do well this is gonna take a while uh, just select on the program that you want to uh, select a program and click on uninstall which will uninstall the program another thing that you can do is delete some desktop shortcuts that you don't use at all um, which can also speed up the login process and also speed up your computer a bit not so much a bit okay so just delete some shortcuts that are not necessary in your desktop the final step that you can do right now is disk defragmentation which will defrag your hard disk which will scan for errors uh, this is also a very important process that you can do and to do this open up the start menu go to all programs scroll down to accessories and then go to system tools select on disk defragmenter and now all you need to do is select on your disk or hard drive and then you're going to select on analyze disk which will scan the disk and see if it is really necessary if you want to defragment the disk if it is necessary then you select on defragment disk now this process will take quite a while probably even a few hours I'm not so sure once it took me like a few, about two hours so make sure you have about well have some time to uh, do this process okay so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you did want to subscribe for more uh, thanks for watching and have a great day